Hi crafty friends, it's Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Thanks guys, this is my 20th video. I'm so excited. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to do a haul video. I love to watch haul videos to see what other people think of the products and what they got. I hope you guys do as well. We are going to also see how we can color some blender brushes maybe color code them what i got for christmas just a few things it's going to be a rather long video i'm sorry about that we're going to start off with this paper it's a six by six paper and i really thought that this was in the main catalog but it's actually a free celebration item and it's free with fifty dollars i hope you guys know what you know how celebration works the colors are bermuda bay blackberry bris Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Roco Rose. Rococo Rose. Roco, Roco Rose. Sorry. And they have some ombre effects. I like them. I think they're going to be something fun to use. You know, I have a problem with 6x6 paper, but I really like these. And I love that you get them for free for $50. Let me see. You get 48 sheets, which is great. Uh, I'm going to start with paper first because I am determined to use paper this year. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Now, I know the colors of these. This particular paper is black and white. And I love black and white paper. And this goes with a sweet. Let me see if I can get you the sweet name. I'm not allowed to show you my inside of my catalog. But the sweet is elegant love oh love you always and um the suite actually has other uh designer or especially paper i guess i should go with it but i love these black and white designs true love designer series paper you get 12 sheets for 11 dollars 50 each in the u.s and i'm not in love with the florals per se but I love the other sides, the um, patterns, I guess I should say. I love them. And I think I'm going to order several packs because these are just gorgeous. You can always color on a black and white um, uh, DSP. You can blend on them. You can do lots of things. But I love a black and white. This is probably my favorite of the florals. And I think you could do some spotlight coloring on that. All right. Next up is the Fine Art Floral DSP. Again, 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Look at this one. It is a masterpiece. I think they did this in oil paints and just took pictures of it. It is so gorgeous. I don't even know how we're going to use this. Um, I remember paper like this a long time ago. Something similar. You know what I mean? That had a full sheet that was so difficult to cut up, but people cut it up and it was gorgeous. There are light and darks of this, and I really like that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to love this paper. It has this really cool texture, and it's kind of like um, kind of like the drywall texture in the um, southwest. They have some of that on their uh, walls. It's kind of cool. There's also an embossing folder. I do have to tell you that this is only half my order. The other half is not here. Things have been so busy shipping. I know that the wonderful people that um, have been delivering to us have been working nonstop. If you have not given your postal carrier or your P UPS man or Amazon man get to give them something for Christmas and you're able to, you should think about that. They've been working nonstop for us. Nonstop for us. All right. So the colors in this are Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo, Poppy Parade, bumblebee and pool party and i think some of this are just absolutely gorgeous and for a five by seven paper you guys i think it's going to be phenomenal off the wall these are oh they look like that they put the um the pattern on top of it so it's not ombre all the way through with you know the pattern on top of it i don't know if i like that but i might we'll have to see you know what we do in the end right but these are some gorgeous papers oh look at that with the 
with the Knight of Navy tucked in. So pretty. All right, I'm just flipping through my caddy so that I can show you the next one. Bumblebee looks awfully pretty here. And I like that it does have some whitewash to break it up, some darker colors. Like I said, I think we can use this, and for a five by seven, I think this is gonna be perfect because it has the most, you know, it has large prints. This is my least favorite one. I, I don't know what it is about it. I know the stamp set looks very familiar to this, so I hope I don't hate the stamp set. Fingers crossed. And look at all that whitewash on that one. Very unique. Someone is completely and utterly talented. All right, let me skip the one that I was going to tell you about because that's not what it is. If this looks like a hanky, that's because it is. This is the handsome, handsomely suited bundle, and this is called Well Suited Designer Series Paper. The colors are Poppy Parade, Pacific Point, Knight of Navy, Basic Gray, and Black. That is my very favorite. Look at this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. And here, this one looks like a suit. I don't think on this particular paper, which is 12 by 12, you get 12 sheets of it for 11.50 in the US. I don't think that you can do, you know, the type of card where you um, use both sides of the paper as one, you know, how you flip it over. I don't think this is a well-suited, ha ha ha, play on, um, play on words there, um, 12 by 12 paper to do that because I don't think the two sides match very well. But I like that about that because I think the um, papers are just terrific for masculine cards. I mean, look at that. I love that. You could do so much with that. And that is another hanky or a pocket square, whatever you want to call them. Um, there are twine for this and a stamp set, which, again, I do not have yet, but I am getting in the mail. I love this. Oh, it's so gorgeous, these colors together. And look at that, another great suit. And how many people know a man that has this tie? We all do. I know we do. This is so classic. And this piece of paper right here, my son has a shirt that looks exactly like that. <laughs> it's a little bit older. I think it was like four years old, but he, he has it. All right, let's go back to some playful fun. An ice cream cone. I enjoy um, something like this for my grandchildren. I think they're going to love it. And look at this confetti. I think we had something like this a while ago. So I know we can get use, tons of use out of that. The colors in here are very fun. Terracotta tile, which I haven't used, guys, to be honest. Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss and Cinnamon Titer. And this Blackberry Bliss is crazy, crazy beautiful. But look at all these different washes. Now, like I said, I don't know what we're going to do with these because there's, oh, the squares I love, but I kind of wish they were bigger. But it gives you some ideas, right? Now, what green did I say this was? Let me look. Oh, my favorite, Old Olive. I knew I had to love it, but you know, there's some dark and light of that. But it gives us just some ideas of some washes that we could use, some really dark washes, I think. I have to see if I can be, you know, can use this paper. I love it, but I don't know if I can use it. Does that make sense? It's just, mm, I know I can use this side, but I don't know if I could use those squares of washes, but it does give me some ideas. You guys know how I love my stripes. Oh. I'm going to be using these colors for sure in some stripes because they look so fun together. And then look at this Blackberry Bliss. This is so beautiful, yummy even, I can say. Oh, it is so dark and rich. And these colors are great together. I think that is terracotta tile by next to it. Who would have thought? See, that's why, you know, we have great designers because I would have never put those two together and they look gorgeous together. Now, if you think this looks weird, it does. It's because it's for our ice cream cone. Perfect, perfect for the ice cream cone, don't you think? And then some fun ice cream cone 
ice cream cones on the other side. And I like, it has these splatters and it just, oh, it's so thought out. Our papers are by far the best thing about Stampin' Up! I asked someone, what is your favorite thing? And they said the, the paper, the designer series paper by far. All right, this is the um, stamp set that goes with it. I don't know if I like your, you're so cool. I mean, it's kind of old, but we'll see. And I love these splatters. I think those are great. Uh, this little drop, you know, it's because you melt my heart. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I, you know, I told you something that you didn't know. Happy birthday and treat yourself. That's always a great one. And I believe this is red rubber. Now, when I looked at this, I saw a Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, I gotta get out of Christmas, but look at that perfect, perfect Christmas tree. Hopefully, they won't re retire the set because I will be using this as a Christmas tree next year. And then I saw a bear's head. A bear's head, right? So we could do some fun thing with these punches. And it, all, of course, makes a great ice cream cone. Now, what up next? Ooh, I'm so excited. I haven't seen this on anyone else's haul, so I'm kind of excited. This is a cut above, and I thought it was perfect for our, our men in our lives, not so formal. And, you know, I had a problem with the other Father's Day because it said, Happy Father's Day, handsome. And that's great for my husband, but I don't know if I want to give that to anyone else. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I don't think that would make my husband very happy. But look at this cute little bird. Oh, my goodness. So cute. And my husband loves to cut the grass. Now that we're back to Michigan, he goes out there for hours at a time. And I'm thinking, what on world is he doing? So that's going to go to him. All right, some more fun things. This is the art gallery that goes with the paper. Now I can't remember what the paper name is. I'm so bad. Fine art floral. And I chose not to get the dies with these. I hope I'm not hating my decision, but I didn't like the large just want to say that that wasn't for me. And I figured I could fussy cut these or I'm really hoping for a brother skin and skin and cut in my future. I've been looking at them for a while, so hopefully. I got this dragonfly garden for this stamp set, these wildflowers. I think we could do something fun on a long five by seven, um, like a flag or a banner. I think that would be fun. And these butterflies are cute. I do like the saying, so you're an inspiration. That's unique. We haven't had that one before. So I did decide to get this and the punch because, you know, I do like the little, the little dragonfly. And you have to admit that Stampin' Up! has some really great punches. They're um, heavy, for sure. They're not, they're made of quality. It's not um, something cheap that's going to break. I had um, one punch that no matter what I did, the metal on metal always, you know, it, it didn't flow right. And oh, that went in the garbage really quickly. It wasn't from one of ours. So yeah, hmm. I won't name the name of the company, but we will not buy those anymore. One more fun set. I haven't seen many people, if any. This circle celebration, I thought, was so unique. This is a photopolymer set. And actually, that one, the one that I'm pointing to, is one stamp set. So I would figured we could do some cool layering. Those are little daisies, it looks like. And then some dots and then... I don't know what the, oh, some little leaf, I think, is in the other one. So that's fun. And then look at this cute little um, uh, dots. And then that one looks like the moon or a sunset with some um, clouds in between. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this one. I haven't played with anything. I've been so good. I've been doing my Christmas cards and today is actually the first day out of bed. But look, there were some leaves and this cute little daisy. Well, oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for this stamp set. Like I said, something completely unique, completely different. Nothing I've seen before. So I am really excited about this one. 
and it's not too expensive. Can I tell you how much it is? Well, I'm going to tell you anyways if I can find it. All right, let me see. I'm not going to talk for a quick second here, guys, because I want to find this. All right, this is the dual ovals. I just told you I wasn't going to talk because I'm going to try to find this. So now I'm going to try to do two things at once, which you know never works out well for me. All right. Oh, and you know, we have, or we used to have, two um, oval punches. These are quite a bit smaller, but the stamp set is pretty cool that goes with it. And even, even if not, we could use our ovals back and then the second to layer it with the scallops. Really cool idea. All right, the circle celebration is 17 bucks, and that is an excellent price. I love these little um, these little sayings, hugs and kisses. I would never do a little treat for you, but you know, thank you for your kindness. And I love those bunnies. Really, I just got it for those cute little bunnies. I know that's silly, but those cute little bunnies, they're so cute. All right. Like I said, we just have some awesome, awesome um, punches. And I told you this was red rubber. You know, red rubber makes the best impressions. Photopolymer can be tricky sometimes. And it's a pretty good size. You know, pretty good size. So, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying your time between Christmas and New Year. I always like this time. It's, you know, it's calm. Most everyone's home. This is Happy Thoughts. Beautiful sentiments in here. This is... Uh, a million dollar stamp set. I'm not sure who it's by though. I'm sorry, whoever you are. You did a beautiful job. Let me see if I can find it really quickly. You know, in the back, there's this, in the back of the catalog, there's this great little thing that is a, um, is a, you know, like an index that's great, but I never look at it. <laughs> I never look at it. And some gorgeous grape twine that we need. And it, it is so beautiful how it, um, works perfectly. You know what I mean? It, and it has some shimmer to it because it's so, oh gosh, it's so pretty. I had to get two of these. So these are gorgeous. Like I said, big or small, it makes beautiful, beautiful bows. All right, let me see if I can find that million dollar and tell you who that is. Mini Messages, it's called on page 35. Ooh, I was one too many. That's why I didn't start very well, did I? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Nope, that's not that's not the right one. Many messages is not right. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Twenty one dollars, and it is by Jessica, or I'm sorry, Jackie Bull oh, Bullis, and and I'm gonna ruin your name because I'm a terrible name person. All right, this is a celebration stamp set. Oh my gosh, look at this font, you guys. Heal your heart. So, so, so pretty. I'm sure this is a $50 set, but let me just make sure. Yes, we're in this together. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Wishing I could heal your heart. I can't promise that I can. Oh, I can't read that from here, and I can't read it on my little itty-bitty phone, but so cute. Also, it's free with $50, and this Darling Donkeys is free, too. We have horses, and a friend of ours has a donkey named April. Well, I hope they still do. We moved three years ago, and um, April was quite quite old, about 22, 23 years old, and April was just, had the best personality. I don't know. <laughs> Donkeys are great, are just so wonderful. So that reminds me of April. I can't wait to show my daughter, who just loved April. She got to ride her. All right. Some more free celebration items. This is Paper Blooms DSP, free with $50, 12 sheets. And the colors, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Pelo, Petal Pink, good gravy, I can't speak. Petal Pink, Roco Rose, Seaside Spray, and Soft Sea Stone. Guys, these are gorgeous. This is my favorite paper pack. Large, very large patterns so that I know that I can use them on five by sevens. 
the stamp set, I think it has a stamp set similar to it that's, that, of course, I do not have. Please, please send to me quickly. But anyways, I'm sorry. Um, but I think it has something very similar. So, so, so cute. I think something about Happy. I can't tell it to you guys, but at least I can tell you the name. Because I, let me go back to the bottom. Now, I don't like these circles. It looks like a palette. I think I would have fun I mean, I do like these circles. They're vibrant. They're great. But I, I don't think I put them on the card. Do you know what I mean? I just, I like it, but I don't like it for a card. These little patterns, mm, I'm not happy with them. They're going to have to go on a 5 by or a A2 size cards. And when I say I'm not happy with them, it's because I can't, you know, the A2, 5 by 7 you know, it has to be small. All right, let me see these names of these uh, pretty perennials. Pretty Perennials? Really? I didn't think that was the name of it. I thought I had something to do with Happy. Hmm. Let me just check. It's on page 31. Oh, yes. Pretty Perennials. Definitely cute and goes perfectly with this set, I think. Perfectly. And uh, it's a little watercolory. And it's also a million dollar um, achiever. Dana Rankow, cute card, Dana, and um, I think this will be good for something that I got for Christmas, the dies in here, Woo! I'm excited, all right, oh my goodness, I'm not even paying attention, I'm just so excited about the new catalog, this is another free paper, and let's see, let me see if I can get the information for you guys, very pretty, I love it. Kind of dark, but that's okay, right? Something a little bit different. Okay, $50. $50 in spending, and you get this free. 12 sheets, 12 by 12 paper, of course. Basic black, bumblebee, cherry cobbler, cherry cobbler flirty flamingo, flamingo, good gravy, guys. Granny apple green, just jade. I haven't played with that one. Misty moonlight, petal pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Shaded Spruce, and So Saffron. Good heavens. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you think that's Cherry Cobbler? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cherry Cobbler and Roco Rose, I'm sure. So fun together. And this is the type of um, paper that you can do. You know, you can flip it over and use one side and the other side on the same because it works perfectly together. Kind of like that. I know that my... I know I had a... um a dress that looked like that a little while ago. I'm thinking 80s. Hopefully it's not back. But yeah, I think um, Sarah would love that. And Daisy's got to get our Daisy punch for this one, guys. Absolutely. All right. Hooray. Hooray. Are we done? We're done with the mini catalog. Well, at least the things that I was able to get. I'm going to show you more when I get it, but I waited as long as I could. All right. I want to show you my Christmas gift. I don't want to brag because it's not really bragging. It's just, look what I got. Yay. All right. So here are the blending brushes I have been using. I did not get Stampin' Ups because I have tons of blending brushes. And then I got these beautiful colored, colored coordinated blending brushes that I think I'm in love with. I've got to find a way to display them. I know that there's those turn type, there's, there's something and I'm getting them because I'm going to be, I'm going to be displaying these suckers. They're so, so gorgeous. I absolutely am in love with them. Um, and there is a darker purple. I'll find it in just a second. But you know, then there's, you know, there's these green. I'm not really happy with the green, a light green, a dark green. That's fine. But I do need a mint. But and then there's these two ugly, but we have to have them. So maybe I'll put those, you know, not out and display the other ones. But this one that I've been using are quite a, quite a bit smaller. But I figured out how we could color code these. We just, I do need a, a black one because I always use black when I, well, not always use, but I often use black when I brush, blend or brush, when I blend, blend, yes, blend's the word I want to use. And I also use white, so I need one of these. So I'm gonna mark this black and black and then one white, but this is how I'm going to do it. Now I'm just sticking these down here just to hold them in place for now. And I'm going to grab some washi tape. I believe we have black and white still in our catalog. 
please let this be because I really think we have it. So I'm going to take the white and I'm going to leave enough room at the top, then scooch about mm, between a quarter of an inch and a half of an inch, maybe just a quarter of an inch down and wrap it around. And then you guys, this is crazy. I'm going to make a cute little bow because I want it to be cute. You know, I mean, I don't just want twine here. I mean, you know, that's not cute. So I'll make a little cute little bow here. I'm going to fuss with it. Um, but I can't find my scissors anywhere. Now, my daughter did have a pair of my scissors in her art section because she has discovered acrylic painting. She is in love with acrylic painting and she is so good at it. I am, oh, it's phenomenal. I'm so happy for her. So I left that in there for her. But then I guess people use them for wrapping gifts because I cannot find my stinking scissors. It's not funny. I need them. I ordered two more. But <laughs> and then I'm going to hide the suckers, you know? All right, but look, isn't that cute? And let me cut this a little bit smaller. But and I thought about how I actually used my blender brushes. I don't really touch this part. So, you know, I mean, I kind of hold it in the back. Let me, oh, I'm fussing with it some more. I'm going to add some glue to the middle. And so it really stays nicely because it's cute this way. Um, but yeah, so when you, oh, oh, and then, you know, if you don't want white, then you could color them um, red, pink, orange. Yeah, you could color them with your blends, guys. And you wouldn't have to have one for every color, just a light and a dark for most colors, but this is how we use them. Pretty much for about, you know, far enough away or just pressing your finger at the top. So this won't even interfere. Does it, it just adds a little bit more tension, but I think this will work out perfectly. I hope this is something that you guys can do to label your brushes because I didn't have any labels, labeling solutions for my you know, when I first got them and I was racking my brain, this is a 3 a.m. Whoa, game changer. Um, you know, 3 a.m. morning thing, but um, I really think that this will help me and it will be cute. So I'm going to do mint, mint macaroon, white and um, black, then maybe a dark brown and a light brown, dark gray, for because I have a light gray, that kind of a thing. So super, super, super cute and something that you can do. And then you can use your blend. So I'm kind of excited. I, I had a good thing. But I've, yeah, I've got to find them. I've got to find something to display them in. But when I got these for Christmas, also came a cute little free die. And it was a snowflake, just something simple but cute. I'm going to see how they stack up against our dies. I, I don't, you know, I don't really use other people's dies. Another thing I got was this hot glimmer foil. I've been looking at it for a while. I've been, got it, they got it for $75 at Hobby Lobby. I guess that's the everyday price because you can't use coupons with it. Huh? There's Muna. My puppy's coming to say hi. But, and then um, they got me some cute little greetings that, does, that do have the outline dies. A little bit small for a five by seven card, but that's okay. That's okay. This Abby birthday is great. Perfectly large. And $8 and then you use a 40% coupon. That's a really great price for me. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and then I'm going to test it out on some of our dies and see what I think. Because, you know, what's the point um, of having a machine if you can't use it with Stampin' Up's products? So uh, I know that I already have it. I mean, I, I got to keep it because I've already pulled everything apart, but I'll see how much I use it depending on if I can use it with our dies, if it works really well. So let's see what they gave us. This is the hot plate. Hmm. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving it a once over. They did give us a fair amount of foil in some pink and silver. I would have preferred gold and silver, but you know, it's free. What can I say? And then, sorry about that. My family just got home, so I'm not actually paying attention to them. Don't worry. And then it came with two little dies. Let's see if I can maybe get her, get out of it. Oh, I guess I'm going to open this first. It's pretty light, but I like the fact that 
um, the cord winds up. You know what I mean? Because it is electrical and it's supposed to be get it's supposed to get really hot. So uh, I would never probably leave it on. But it's look at this low profile. Hardly, you know what I mean? Doesn't take up much room. I could bet I could like sit it up in my pot holder. So it's there all the time, but it's taking up hardly no room at all. All right. Did come with these two dies. Like I said, this one die is not for me. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm going to put it to the side. Maybe I'll um, give it away to someone, you know. If you're interested in it, let me know. I, uh, if you have a foil machine, maybe yours came with it, so you don't need it. But I think they do have another foil machine. Um, hmm. That's not by Spellbinders. So, yeah. So, it's not for me. But, huh. Well, you guys have made it this far, and I'm going to ask you to subscribe. I am hoping to get to 150 subscribers by the end of the year. That is my goal. There are 75% of you who watch my videos and don't subscribe, and I am asking nicely if you could sub sub if you could subscribe so that you could so that I could get to my goal. You guys have a fantabulous New Year. Thanks so much. I'm really not in love with these. There's got to be a better design for these tweezers. Anyways, Happy New Year, guys. See you next time. I have one more video that I'm hoping to get out before the New Year. Some organization. So, talk to you guys soon.